Right, hi everyone, and welcome back to all my 78s. This is the first video on 78s that I've done for a while, and uh, so yeah, I'm just have to get on, get back into it again. You know, it's like uh, it's like when you leave something for a while that you've been doing, and then you and then you come back, it's, it's, it may take a little time to uh, to get going again. Oh, sorry, a bit of arthritis in my uh, in my thumb there. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, I have to explain that next week I probably won't be able to do a video because I'm away on holiday uh, for a week and then uh, it will probably take me, well actually I will be back for the following weekend so I'm hopefully I'll just be missing for a week uh, but I've been missing for so long it won't make no difference will it? <laughs> anyway cheers everyone. Mm. I've got the cheap glass out because Lately, I've been uh, smashing things, breaking things, losing things, and doing all sorts of things, which is not uncommon for me, but uh, it's been more than usual. So I don't want to risk any, anything decent in the shed today. But we have a box here full of 78s, and I know that's probably what most of you are interested in. This box, I've just done a little bit of research on this stamp. It's, 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 Ed, it's uh, Edward. The six, is it George the six? See, I can't keep, can't keep anything in there at all. It just goes in there and out straight out. George the six stamp, and I believe that this stamp is an early stamp of his, and possibly uh, 1936, which would have been his beginning of his reign. He died in 1952, um, and of course he is the the current Queen's uh, father. This, of course, doesn't make, though this box is possibly, I would say definitely, is, is dated back there. It's nearly 90, it's nearly 90 years old, this box. Blimey. But it doesn't mean what's inside is obviously 90 years old. It just means that the box is, but I've just got a fascination for boxes. I can't help it. Um, but there we go. Anyway, we'll lift the lid on the box, shall we? Woohoo! <laughs> See what we got. Now, I am going to be, I did try to say, I'm going to be ultra, 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 ultra critical on what I uh, keep and don't keep because I really want to clear the shelves of some 78s that I know that are just sitting there gathering dust and would be far better off in somebody else's collection who would appreciate them. I'm going to be keeping just stuff that I really, really like. So, to kick late night listening off, we need some to listen to. And I'm hoping that this box is going to be good. I mean, I'll admit I had a little sneak preview and I just sort of lifted them. I haven't looked, I don't know what's in there, but I did look up to have a look at the labels. And I thought, mm, you know, there might be some good ones on in, in here. So we'll see. We'll see what's in here. Anyway, so this is a sort of a sort through. Or a, or a stack attack from a box <laughs> right so the first one the first one coming out is on the uh, all these parlophone labels always bring up these later parlophone labels always bring up some some great stuff um the wang wang blues by benny goodman and his sextet uh and there we are i hope you can see that the wang wang blues and on the other side is on the sunny side of the street ah classic a classic so that's a definite keep and and, uh, and uh, possibly even a listen to. Yeah, we'll call that a listen to. Got another one here. Uh, I'm back. Oh, it's Benny. Oh, it's Benny Goodman again. Just you, just me. Just about read that. And my guy, come, come home. So on that side, and then oh, on that side. Now I could have a quick look. That's quite a nice condition, actually. Look at that. Uh, all of them, but I mean, I'm trying to get through this video, you know, not make it a long, great big long thing. HMV label, the lady in love, oh, Benny Goodman, the lady in love with you, and uh, undecided, undecided, and we'll have a, we'll, oh yes, yes, look at that, shiny, shiny ones, I like shiny ones, we all like shiny ones, don't we, we do, we all like shiny ones. And there we go. So is this going to be a box, a collection of Benny Goodman's? Is it, this does come from the 750, by the way, um, collection that I did some months ago. Uh, BD label, but it's Tommy Dorsey 
uh there's no one but you and ah yes there's good blues there oh yes there's good blues tonight tommy dorsey i'm not a massive fan of tommy dorsey but it is a listen to it has to be a listen to doesn't it but i'm not a massive fan of his i like i prefer his brother uh to be on to be honest um than uh, than Tommy, uh, but uh, Tommy Dorsey again, swing high, and oh Opus number one, I like Opus number one, and in pretty good condition as well. It's in pretty good clean condition. Um, is this going to be? Uh, Tommy Dorsey, Opus One. Oh, it's, oh, it's Swing Eye. It's the same, but the condition is slight. But I'm not going to show it because it's exactly the same. It's a copy. It's exactly the same as the other one, but maybe the condition is not quite as good. It's not. It's, it's good, but not quite as good. So we'll put that to one side there because there's no point in having two. I don't want two, and I'll keep the better one. Uh, HMV, and it's Benny Goodman, and the Angels sing and uh, rose of washington square rose of washington square there we go like that mm, yes the wrong type of sleeve for this sort of uh <laughs> never mind it's a modern sleeve but you know we'll have a listen to that back to the parlor phones and we have i got rhythm benny goodman I've got, and, and slipped disc i got rhythm Yes, good one that is. And slip disc. But I'm not sure not sure I know I know that one. And so an excellent one to uh to have on late night listening. Late night listening, which we will be coming back uh hopefully within two to three weeks when I get back from holiday and you know I can get myself uh, into the gear to do it like you know. Um these foolish things, Benny this is a Benny this is mainly gonna be Benny Goodman, isn't it? Uh, and six and six six appeal six appeal no no it's six appeal s i x right, so here we go and can you hope you I hope this is this is um this is auto focusing okay it's a new a new phone that I'm using since my last uh, video um which is slightly better uh but only just slightly because it's just uh, I had a nine plus Galaxy nine plus now I've got a ten Galaxy ten plus one because my other one was uh, playing up. Uh, Tommy Dorsey, do I worry? And on the other side is uh, I guess I'll I'll something <laughs> to something the best. You can read it. You're probably reading it better than I can because you can probably got a bigger screen i'm struggling as usual to to stuff that so anyway tommy dorsey as i said not a fan but um definitely uh definitely interesting the new four inch side four sides on one disc four in one interesting sleeve maybe the sleeve is worth more than the disc i will probably say it was to be honest um there are people out there who like to um search for sleeves uh to um to complement their collection if they've got like that particular record record of four in one and they haven't got the sleeves they will probably pay more for that sleeve than they would do for the for the uh, for the 78. <laughs> yeah not me but they probably would you're <laughs> you're dangerous you're dead tommy dorsey and uh does that dolores or something i don't know you can read it Again, it's in this. These are these are coming up. Uh, try to get a bit closer there. Maybe these are, these are in in pretty good condition. I have to say, I've been lucky with condition. Um, what's this one? It's HMV. Uh, Boogie Woogie, Tommy Dorsey, uh, and Tin Roof Blue. So we got a Tommy Dorsey and. And Benny Goodman collection in a box. Now, I, I didn't know that was there. 
Um, so that, that, that's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, Tommy Dorsey again, stomp it off. And uh, Night Glow. Uh, yeah, I, I can sort of looking at it and I think this one is probably not quite as in good condition as some of them have been. Uh, never mind. Pile of phones again. Good old pile of phones. Uh, why don't you? Why don't you do right? Why don't you do right? Or is it night? It could be night. No, it's right. Yeah, it's right. <laughs> it is right. Benny Goodman and his orchestra, great. Benny Goodman and six flats unfurnished. So uh, there we go. I'm turning it around. Sorry about the reflections and everything at the moment, but I had to put this video very quickly together. Uh, as I say, we're off on holiday pretty soon, so it's all like, you know, the wife is saying, we've got this done, we've got to do this, and we've got to do that, and we've got to get this, and we've got to get that, and blah, 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 and the usual, can you go in the loft and get the cases? Yes, I can go in the loft and get the cases, yes. On the sunny side of the street, this is, a, this is another, and there's no need, no no need you. This, this is a copy, isn't it, the one I just pulled out. It's not in bad nick. So I'm not going to show it because it's a copy of one we've already got. So we've got two copies in there. And I say I am going to be very critical, uh, even even with the Goodmans, possibly as well. I won't, I won't just keep a Goodman because it's a Goodman. Um, they are quite common anyway. You can you can pick them up quite 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 easily, but. Um, Tommy Dorsey on the sunny side. Again, there's a there's there's, there's another one that's got a little bit of something on it but yeah so that's three copies uh so i think somebody's just gone through and gone goodman's dorsey's in a box that's what they've done you can bet your life on that um uh whispering tommy dorsey i'll never smile again and is it condition wise it is in it is in nice condition it is in nice condition. Oh, can you see that? I'll try and get it up nice and close this time. I will. I, I, I'm say I, I'm doing this over this side. I usually I I do this sort of thing over that side, but that side is a complete mess. Sorry about the noise. And the neighbour, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I had to have the door open because it's boiling hot. It's boiling hot this week, so we we've really got to have the uh, the door of the shed open because otherwise I would just melt. Uh, oh, Hawaiian war chant and uh, symphony in riffs by Tommy Dorsey. Hawaiian uh, chant and symphony. What did it say? Riffs. Riffs in. Riffs, just riffs, symphony and riffs. Yeah, I'm not. I think of a Hawaii on usually goes straight in the reject box, but I will put it on listen to. So we've got an interesting set. Listen to Dorsey's and Goodman's for a late night listening. Hmm. I don't know. Stardust, Tommy Dorsey, and Swanee River. I've got a funny feeling I've got this one in my collection already, to be honest with you. But I don't think I've ever played it. I don't think I've ever listened to it. Uh, yes, I know what they sound like, but I mean, the, 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 uh, that particular version. Now we've got a Brunswick at the bottom here. Interesting. It's Charlie Barnett, and he's also he got an odd, the odd one in the, in the box. It's Charlie, ba Charlie ba uh, Barnett. It's Sky. Is that Sky something? Skyliner, I love Skyliner. I, I, I was trying to remember, I think it was this, but it looked like sky, Skylights, Larks to start with, but it's Skyliner. And the Moose by part, Charlie Barnett. Yeah, so this is, um, yeah, so this is really great. This is the old one in the box. Brilliant, I, I like that one. And I, I think I have got Skyliner somewhere else, but I couldn't find it when I went to play it one day. I couldn't find it, so I got another copy anyway. 
whether it was by Charlie Barley or not, I can't remember. We'll put it in the box in there and put it back in the box, and this box will be the, the listen to's. These are the uh, few, uh, I mean, these are the copies. So I've got three there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. Um, probably what I'm going to do is to, because I am planning on getting rid of a lot of jazz um, records, uh, 78s if you like, uh, that I've got, because I want to clear the shelves out. And I don't, just because they're jazzy doesn't mean I like them really that much. I really want to have a compact collection of my favorites my my ones that i i just love i just want that i don't want to have wall to wall of 78s that i'm never going to listen to because i'm just realizing how much space they're taking up i mean i've got this lot behind me it goes back to here and up to there and there's another shelf that you can't see and then there's another big shelf behind you and that's nothing compared to some of you guys out there you've got you've got shelves and shelves and shelves of them but i don't want that i just want to have a collection of small stuff i do so finding collections in the future that i'll have space to put them going through them quickly and just looking for those special ones that, uh, that suit me anyway thanks for watching this uh, this was a a stack attack i suppose i uh, will put that on the on the other <laughs> thing and uh, yeah and i will try and put this box away and when i come back from holiday we'll have a late night listening at some point right cheers thanks everyone for watching this i'm gonna have another slurp i'll catch you again soon cheers everyone